Ever wondered why a colacanth never goes to a party? Maybe it's because they're a scale above the rest. Ah, the colacanth, that peculiar fish that time forgot. You see, while all the other fish in the sea were busy evolving, our friend colacanth here decided to play hooky. The result? A living fossil that looks like it swam straight out of the Jurassic period. Seriously, this fish is so old school, it makes a T-Rex look like a millennial. Imagine being the colacanth, the ultimate hipster of the deep sea, refusing to conform to the mainstream evolution. It's like that one friend we all have who's still rocking a flip phone and listens to music on a Walkman in 2023. I mean, who needs Wi-Fi when you can have a tail fin, am I right? So the next time you feel like you're a little behind the times, just remember, at least you're not a colacanth. So, how does a fish that's been out of the loop for 65 million years suddenly make a comeback in the 20th century? Well, it's a story that's fishier than your local seafood market. Picture this. It's 1938, and a fisherman off the coast of South Africa lands a catch that would make Captain Ahab blush. He pulls up what looks like a relic from a bygone era a creature so old it probably remembers when the Pacific was just a puddle. This wasn't your average catch of the day. This was a coelacanth. Now, imagine being that fisherman pulling up a creature that's supposed to be extinct. It's like finding Elvis flipping burgers at your local diner. It's like finding out your grandma has a secret career as a WWE wrestler. It's like discovering your goldfish is actually a secret agent. Talk about a plot twist. Now, let's flip the script. Imagine being the scientist who gets this fish on their lab table. It's like Christmas, your birthday, and winning the lottery all rolled into one. Hey, Bob, cancel my three o'clock. I've got a living fossil to dissect. And boy, did the media have a field day. Headlines screamed about the Lazarus fish, the one that came back from the dead. It was like the fishy version of a Hollywood comeback. Move over, Robert Downey Jr. There's a new comeback kid in town, and it has fins. The colacanth became an overnight sensation, the piscine equivalent of a viral sensation. It was on every newspaper, every radio show, and if they had social media back then, you bet your bottom dollar it would have been trending. Coelacanth comeback, anyone? But just like any true celebrity, the colacanth played hard to get. It stayed elusive, maintaining its air of mystery and intrigue. Classic celebrity behavior, right? And that, folks, is how the colacanth went from being a has-been to the talk of the town. Talk about a fish out of water. But wait, there's more. What if I told you that the colacanth has a secret that makes it even more unique? Buckle up, folks, because we're diving into some fishy business. You see... The colacanth doesn't do things the traditional fish way. No, no, it's far too cool for that. It's not about laying eggs. Our friend here gives birth to their young. Talk about a plot twist. Now imagine being a colacanth just casually swimming around, and bam, you're a parent. No eggs to guard. No tiny fish to worry about. Just a fully formed baby colacanth ready to conquer the deep blue. It's like the colacanth looked at all the other fish and said, Eggs? Nah, we're skipping that step. And you thought your life was full of surprises. The colacanth is out here rewriting the rules and making us question everything we thought we knew about fish. Sure, it might not be the usual water cooler talk, but it's definitely more interesting than discussing last night's reality TV show. So, the next time someone tells you they have a fish tale to share, make sure to ask if it's as interesting as the colacanths, because, let's face it, this fish has set the bar pretty high.